Good morning, everyone. Today is Valentine's Day. We're going to Santa Barbara. We're gonna go horseback riding. I am so excited. Kidding, I don't know why I did that. But the last time I did horseback riding was when we went to Zion in Utah. That was the first time I ever did it. This is the second time I'm ever doing horseback riding. So after horseback riding, we're gonna spend some time in Santa Barbara. We're gonna enjoy some uni. Guys, if you guys don't know what uni is, if some of you guys don't know what uni is, uni is sea urchin. It's a little species in the water that has a lot of spikes and it's a delicacy in the seafood world. And you've probably seen it in a sushi restaurant, in your local sushi restaurant or like a higher end sushi restaurant. Usually higher end sushi restaurants have them and I would only trust higher end sushi restaurants to eat uni. In sushi restaurants, it's served like on a rice and there's like the uni on top. And it's like super popular in Santa Barbara because the way the Santa Barbara, like the water, like the Santa Barbara channel works is that they have a unique hot and cold swirl current and that water just creates like really good sea urchin. Uh, I've got everything packed up because we're going horseback riding. It's gonna get a little messy. So I've got like a second set of clothes and bring my drone with me but we have to start heading out right now it's eight o'clock we got to be there by 11. Guys, we just made it to horseback riding. We're in Circle B Bar. Circle Bar B Ranch. So yeah, we're here right now. We just got here. We shaved off. We we're supposed to be like 15 minutes late, but we shaved off 15 minutes. I was driving so fast, kind of. It's like three hours away from Orange County. There's a hotel here, so you could actually stay here if you wanted to. But yeah, let's go check in right now. You guys could hear the water. There's a little creek down there, and you guys could hear the water. It's so peaceful up here. So we're waiting for the horses right now. We're waiting to get on. It smells so bad, guys. I'm not even going to lie. It smells so bad. We're going to get on right now. Waiting, 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 waiting. The horses. Horsey back ride. Wow, I love it. You can hear the water. There's a little creek over there on the right. Well, I'm going to put my phone away right now because I feel like I'm going to fall off the horse. I love this horseback riding, guys. Guys, look on the right here. There's a little creek cool little creek very relaxing Kim's right in front of me and we're just enjoying our beautiful Wednesday afternoon All right, you guys, we just made it to Santa Barbara. We're here at the pier. Guys, look around. We're gonna go get some uni right now. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry, actually. I haven't had breakfast. And where did Kim go? Hmm. She ran away. Where are thou she go? I'm kidding, I don't know what I'm saying, but. All right, so that's where we're going right now. It's called Santa Barbara Shellfish Company. You want lobster pasta? I want the whole menu. You want the whole <laughs> menu? We got lobster tacos, we I'm got uni. Starving. I know, I'm just We're so hungry like right now. Lime to it, lime. No, just take it off the lime like you would an oyster off the okay. shell. They have a oyster board on that. So guys, we got the uni. I am so excited to try this. Oh, the uni comes with scallops and a lime. Mmm, really good. Lime powder.
let's try the let's try the lobster uh, crab cakes. That was the sauce. So this sauce came with the crab cakes. It's like a chipotle sauce. We only got a few oysters because I don't eat oysters that often, so I'm like, I just eat, I'll just eat one. It's all for me, really. Yeah, it's all for you. Oh, yeah, it's actually really good. It's not fishy at all. It tastes like the ocean. It is so cloudy out right now. It's a little chilly. I am extremely full. The uni was okay though, to be honest. Like, I'm not like gonna say sit here and say, oh yeah, it was the best uni ever. Oh, Santa Barbara uni. So the shrimp good. cocktail was really good. Yeah, I was expecting a lot out of the uni though. The oyster was really good. The oyster was better than the uni. I feel like the dish with the uni was that the scallop wasn't like... I think you're paying more for a scallops than you are for uni. <laughs> Like we got, we, the uni was so like, small. I feel like the scallop was very thin too. I, I don't know why I got the shrimp taco. I, I honestly don't know why. I thought it was going to be fried shrimp tacos, but... Uh, so favorite dish would be the clam chowder, the crab cakes, the shrimp cocktail, oyster, and then uni. Kim's getting candy. I love these. We saw some candies. Kim's got sold on these candies. All right, you guys. So it's breakfast time right now and I'm craving a breakfast sandwich from a place called Coffee Dose. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm going to order a breakfast sandwich, a smoked salmon breakfast sandwich. This Coffee Dose place is so fire, guys. I'm gonna add smoked salmon. Add it to cart. Damn, that's pretty expensive though. I'm not gonna lie, $18. So I'm gonna order this, go pick it up, eat it, and then I have to go get ready to go work out. Guys, guess what we're getting today after I work out? Din Tai Fung. If you guys don't know what Din Tai Fung is, it's a famous, popular Chinese restaurant here in SoCal. They're very, very good. They have great wontons, great dumplings, great fried rice. If you guys are from SoCal, you guys probably know what Din Tai Fung is. So I'm starving right now. Let's go get this food. Hi, I'm here for pickup. Eric? Eric? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Take care. Pack is secured. I'm gonna have the sandwich with Kim because it's a big sandwich. And I'm gonna go work out soon, so I don't wanna eat too, too heavy before my workout. All right, so this is on a ciabatta bun, smoked salmon, arugula, and uh, cream cheese. Mm. It's so refreshing. The avocados, the ciabatta isn't stale. It's very soft, but also has a nice crunch on the outside. The smoked salmon also tastes very good. It doesn't taste fishy at all. All right, you guys, back from the gym. I quickly want to make ice cream. Kim got me a Ninja Creamy for my birthday. My birthday was a long time ago, by the way. But she got me a Ninja Creamy and I've been making a lot of ice cream with it. So I'm going to make this Biscoff ice cream I saw on Instagram by a guy named 
I don't remember. I saw his Instagram video of him making Biscoff ice cream and it was so, so good. So with Ninja Creamies, you kind of have to prepare it in advance. So then you make it and then you freeze it in the freezer for about like nine to 12 to 24 hours. You could probably get away with doing it for nine hours. So yeah, so let's make this right now so I could eat it tonight. Oh, his name, by the way, is The Flexible Dieting Lifestyle. That's his name on Instagram. Pulling up the ingredients right now. So guys, right now we're going to Din Tai Funk for lunch. Kim is off today, so we're just gonna head there and get some lunch. Uh, I'm really, really craving like dumplings and like noodles and stuff. They also have a cucumber salad. I wanna get that. Oh, I'm so excited right now. So right now, guys, we're waiting for Din Tai Funk. It's an hour and a half to two hours wait at South Coast Plaza. And guys, look at the decorations around me at South Coast Plaza. They are celebrating the Year of the Dragon in South Coast Plaza right now. Finally sat down at Din Tai Fung. We're so excited. We waited two hours to sit. All right, cucumber salad time first. I'll let you on a little secret here. You'd order these side noodles, and they're perfect with the spicy wontons. Yes. That's, uh, if you want soy sauce, we have soy sauce too. It's all good. This is good. It's all right. Shalom Bao. Let's try the fried rice. I don't think I've ever actually tried their fried rice. Oh, so we're gonna put a green bean on it and some fried rice. some green beans because I need some vegetables in my system so these are garlic green beans chocolate shalom bao let's eat it I think I'll take it without the cream though. It is good, but it's not like I'm, I wouldn't order it again. I would just get the chocolate shalom bao. The chocolate shalom bao is exactly like the shalom bao we just ate with the soup in it, but it's like chocolate syrupy. I love reading on my Kindle. I just recently bought a Kindle. This is not sponsored or anything, but yeah, I just recently bought a Kindle and I love it, absolutely love it. I'm reading this book called Trading in the Zone. In the mornings, on Monday to Friday, I day trade. And it talks about the mental aspects of trading. Not many people talk about it, but you gotta be able to take the hits when the trade goes down, or you lose money, or the stock price goes down. You have to be able to like mentally like be ready and like you have to, Kind of be like strong about it. You can't be mad about your loss. You have to be able to accept risk. And yeah, that's what it talks about in the book. In the book, it also talks about fear 
of trading. And I'm also reading Ray Dalio's Changing World Order book. If you guys don't know what a Kindle is, Kindle is made by Amazon and you could just read a bunch of books. It's pretty much a book, but a digital book. So Kindle is very popular. I think there's some other brands too, but I think Kindle is probably my favorite because I like dealing with Amazon because everything I have is connected with Amazon. So that's why I'm using the Amazon Kindle. But yeah, so Kindle, Amazon Kindle, digital book, great, glare free too. So you can read it under your sun and it's not like there's no glare on it. But yeah, I love it. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of Biscoff crackers on top. I crushed it up in this little Ziploc. Guys, look at this. Is this good looking ice cream or is it good looking ice cream? Mm. It is literally unreal. Oh guys, I got chocolate chip cookies from a place called Bristol Farms. Bristol Farms is like a more elevated version of a Trader Joe's and they're in SoCal, all over SoCal. And this cookie, apparently, it's like the best cookie ever. So I had to go get it. Look at the size of this cookie, you guys. This is so thick. That's what she said. Cause chocolate's your favorite. Yeah, chocolate's my favorite. <laughs> Guys, look how crumbly this, oh, oh my God. Guys, look how good this thing looks, holy shit. This is from a supermarket. Take this in, this is from a super. Oh, <laughs> I knew that was gonna oh, happen. shit. <laughs> oh my God, it is so chocolatey. And you know what I like about this? They use dark chocolate. So it's not like overly sweet. And there's a lot of chocolate. And there's also uh, macadamia nuts in here. It's crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Oh my God, guys, look at this it's chocolatey gooeyness. What is that called, like a fazicky or something? No, this is called... No, at BJ's, they call it fazicky. No, this is called Eric's Finest. Okay. Okay. <laughs> This ice cream, when you're dieting, it's a game changer. Guys, go get a Ninja Creamy. This is not sponsored. I'm not sponsored by Ninja. This is like, honestly, a game changer. When you're dieting, you can eat ice cream and still diet. That's the great thing about this. High protein, and I'm not sure what the carbs and the fats are in here, so yeah, I'm just gonna say high protein. But the ingredients in here are what you put in here. So you know exactly what's in here. People say this is like the best cookie they've ever had. Okay, I'll admit to you guys, this is not the best cookie I've ever had. But it's up there, and considering this is coming from a grocery store, it's unreal. Mm. 